Well, we just got back from Winco, and unfortunately, I saw a friend of mine in there who was causing a commotion, trying to buy a candy bar. He happens to be black and um, stressed. He's a little baby at home, and he felt targeted, and they weren't going to serve him. He was yelling at everybody, and he had some alcohol in his breath. And the employees called the police, and um, he took off. And I hope he made it home okay. I went ahead and bought him a candy bar and left it on his doorstep because I think he's a pretty good guy, but he's been targeted a lot in our society because he's black. And now with this coronavirus thing, he uh, was yelling about everybody contaminating him. Um, he did not have a mask on, and neither did the employees. And that's not smart. So tonight, I... It's not required to wear a mask. Well, it's not required to wear a mask, but it's smart to wear a mask, just to be on the safe side. So when we were shopping, some people were, ma were wearing masks, and some people weren't. The employees were not wearing masks. And that's odd. And they also did not have any shield, plastic shield or anything. So Winco is a little bit uh, behind times in how they're dealing with this epidemic. And um, I have a feeling that as people's stress levels rise, uh, one, certain self-medication of alcohol and cigarettes and pot and whatever else is legal could also rise as a way of dealing with stress. And it doesn't solve anything. It can sometimes make things worse. So I hope he makes it home okay, because he's got a wife and a baby to take care of. And my interaction with him is he's a pretty fun-loving guy and a nice guy. And um, he doesn't deserve, I don't think from what he did, he deserves to be arrested and go to jail. I think he just needs to be counseled. He needs some counsel. That's my approach. He would just need to be talked to and talked down and calmed down and just counseled. Uh, people in jail could actually uh, put them at risk of getting exposed to the coronavirus. That's what we're seeing that in prisons. So if people can just stay the fuck home and be peaceful and moder moderate, and I think we'd be doing a whole lot better.